Welcome to All Home Care Matters, the show where we discuss all things home care with discussions on important age-related matters and topics. Brought to you by Enriched Life Home Care Services, the number one rated home care provider in Michigan by top rated local. Hello, and welcome back to All Home Care Matters. If this is your first time visiting us here at the show, we want to say thank you for taking time out to be with us today. We appreciate how valuable everyone's time is, and that's why we try and make each episode here at All Home Care Matters something that will hopefully matter to you. On today's Quick Tips episode, we are talking about how to handle siblings who are in denial about a parent's health. First, we'll talk about ways you can understand denial and why your siblings may be in denial about your parents' health. Then we'll move on to ways you can approach your parents' health with your siblings. And finally, we'll talk about a few different communication tactics you can use when talking about your parents' health with your siblings. Now, let's move on to the rest of the show. In a blog post for the Arbors, Sandra Jones writes that no one wants to watch their parents get older. If your brother or sister really doesn't want to think about them aging, and what that means for your family, they might be trying to protect themselves by refusing to accept the truth about the situation. In other words, they're in denial. Denial is a coping mechanism that your siblings use in order to protect themselves from having to think about what having an aging parent needing care really means for them and the rest of your family. Denial is normal, but it can be harmful if it is not overcome in a timely manner. There are several reasons your siblings may be in denial. Like I just mentioned earlier, they may be using denial as a coping mechanism so that they don't have to think about your parents getting older and closer to death. Distance is another big factor for denial. If your siblings live farther away and are unable to see your parents regularly, they will be unable to see the state of decline you see in your parents' health. Aging care states that even with updates and warnings, A long-distance sibling doesn't always get the full picture of how their parent is doing or what caregiving entails on a daily basis. And to complicate things further, elders will often perk up when their less involved adult children show up to visit. That's only natural. This phenomenon is often referred to as show timing, especially in elders who have Alzheimer's disease or other forms of dementia. The parents rally excited to see their long lost child, much to the primary caregiver's annoyance. But this isn't just frustrating. Show timing can also make it appear to occasional visitors that reports of their parents' decline have been exaggerated. Many times, especially in parents that have dementia or Alzheimer's, once your sibling leaves and is no longer around and your loved one's excitement has time to regress, they revert back to the state they are usually in and may even forget that your sibling had come for a visit. Author of Minding Our Elders, Carol Bradley Bursack, shares her personal experience with this. She says that that had happened once after my brother and his wife visited when our mom was declining. She had looked forward to the visit for weeks. My brother and sister-in-law arrived as planned and spent time with mom and then traveled back to their distant home. Afterward, Mom continued to ask me when they were coming. She was still looking forward to their visit and had completely forgotten that it had already happened. It nearly broke my heart to tell her they had been here over the weekend, but I couldn't lie about something so important to her. We caregivers have to do some pretty dreadful stuff. Unfortunately, Carol's experience is more common than we would hope it would be. Caring for a loved one with dementia or other cognitive health issues takes a lot of work and it is important to make sure that you have the support system you need to provide the care your loved ones need. If you're interested in learning more about caring for a loved one with dementia, please visit our website or check out our YouTube channel with an exclusive playlist for dementia and Alzheimer's. Now that we've talked a little bit about what denial is and why your siblings may be in denial, let's move on to ways you can approach your siblings about your parents' health. When your siblings are in denial about your parents' health, they may not want to talk about it with you. Watching your parents' health decline isn't easy for you, and it's not easy for your siblings either. The best thing you can do is to let your siblings know that you are there for them, 
and that they can come to you with any questions or fears that they may have about your parents' situation. Letting them know that you are open to communication is a great first step to talking to your siblings about your parents' health. When you decide it is time to talk to your siblings about your parents' health and care situation, set a date and time and plan a meeting in advance so that everyone can take time to prepare and make sure that they have the time available. Having the meeting in person is best, but you can do a video call if you're not able to get together in the same place all at once. Video calls still allow you to see how your siblings react to news and allows you to pick up on visual cues that you would miss if you only talk through a phone or an email. As the sibling that is currently around your parents the most, it is your job to present the quote unquote case to your siblings. You are the one that is around your parents the most and you know what state their health is actually in. Having recent doctor visit notes available can help you give more credibility to what you're saying. Some people need facts and figures to really understand a situation, so having those handy can help your case. If you think that you and your siblings will have a difficult time coming to an agreement regarding your parents' care situation, consider having an elder care mediator present during your meeting. According to Five Star Senior Living, sometimes a mediator is an elder care attorney or therapist. They may be able to help step in to keep conflicts from getting heated. The mediator can also help ensure everyone has a chance to speak. Most importantly, the mediator will make sure everyone remains focused on the goal to provide your parents with the best care and best lifestyle possible in their senior years. A mediator won't tell you what to do, but they will help you and your siblings to reach an agreement. Hopefully, you can use some of these tips to help you approach your siblings about your parents' health. Now, let's move on to our final section, which is communication tactics you should use when talking with your siblings. Aging Care suggests first that you take a hard look at ourselves and consider two tough questions when it comes to your siblings. One, have you asked for help directly? And two, have you made a specific request of them? When you answer these questions to yourself, you can then use your own answers in turn to help you decide where to start with your siblings. If you have yet to ask specific requests of your siblings, you now know that it's an option. Before talking with your siblings, make a list of everything you want to tell them and ask them to make sure you don't forget what you want to talk to them about. It's also a good idea to make a list of things you can notice while taking care of your aging parents. Care is continuous, so it's important to keep updating your family about your parents, their health, and any help you are in need of. Sending out weekly emails or texts is an easy way to keep your siblings in the loop. You can even ask one of your siblings to update the rest of your family in order to take some of the caregiving burden off of you. One of the most important tips we can give you today is that it is okay to take a break. If the conversation is becoming too tense, take a short break and let everyone relax for a little bit. Having some time to reflect on what's been said or even vent to someone not involved in the situation can help everyone come back a little more refreshed and able to see things from a new perspective. Caring for a loved one is difficult, and so is coming to terms with the new reality that your parent is no longer in good health and will not be around for too much longer. Just remember that your siblings are likely processing this information, and they may need some time to adjust to a new normal, but they also just want what is best for your loved ones. We want to say thank you for joining us here today at All Home Care Matters. All Home Care Matters is here for you and to help families as they navigate these long-term care issues. We invite you to please visit us at allhomecarematters.com. There is a private, secure, fillable form where you can give us feedback, show ideas, or if you have questions. Every form is read and responded to. And please, if you know someone who could benefit from this episode, please share it with them. And remember, you can listen to the show on any of your favorite podcast streaming platforms and watch the show on our YouTube channel. Just make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss an episode. Join us next time on All Home Care Matters, where we will welcome Bill Cohen. Bill was a caregiver for his mother and turned that experience into a career of helping other caregivers and families. This is an informative and helpful interview that you won't want to miss. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us today. We look forward to you joining us again on another episode of All Home Care Matters. To learn more about the show and to connect with us, visit us at allhomecarematters.com.